Okay, so now we've got docbook XL XSL nons. Runtime recommendation, LibXML2, we've got that installed now. And then we've got all these optional ones which are used at runtime, so they're not compile requirements. Um, so we should be okay not to install any of them, and we shouldn't need to come back to have to reinstall this after we've installed those either, being their runtime. So let's tidy up on here. and fetch these packages. So it's dot with XSL nons, which is that one there. Section 49. Right at the end of the book. So we need to package. Which will save. Then there's a patch which we need as a requirement. And some optional documentation, which is I'm going to do this time. Okay, so that's all the downloads we've done. So let's extract it. So we want the um, Tarball, which is let's just check the name of it. It's docbook xsl nons dot tar dot bz. That's that one there. Okay. So now we can start copying and pasting the commands. To install it, so first we've got a patch. Oops. Then we've got the optional documentation which we've downloaded. Then it says BLFS does not install the required packages to run the test suite and provide meaningful results. Install Docbook XSL style sheets by running the follow commands at the root user. So immediately we're installing this package. So we become the root and copy all these commands. got the optional documentation so we'll run this command in and that's all installed so configuring note if you're installing the current version of docbook 
XSL NONS over a previous version and remove the old rewrite entries in the catalog as a root user so we're not reinstalling we can ignore that and it says create or append and populate the XML catalog file using the following commands as the root user so we need to copy all of this so that's going to be several screens worth I imagine You can see why it's so important to get a method of copying and pasting and have a browser to look at the book. Imagine typing this all in and not having any errors. It'll be either very slow with a lot of double checking or um, you would introduce errors if you didn't do the double checking. It'd be an incredible amount of work. So this starts here with these two if statements you can see at the top. So I'm going to move these out of the way, this uh, browser actually, so I can see the whole screen. Make sure I don't miss anything. That looks like that should be the end there where it says catalog. So I'll get the browser back just to double check. Yeah. Yeah, all the rest have got an ampersand at the end of each block of commands. So I'll go back, paste that in, press enter. Yeah, that seems to have worked. Occasionally you may need you may find the need to install other versions of Excel style sheets as some projects reference a specific version. One example is BLFS 6.0 which required the 1.67.2 version. In these instances you should install any other required version in its own version directory and create an catalog entries as follows. Substitute the desired version number for version. Ok so it's given an example here, the version number goes in there. So we don't need to do any, anything with that. So that's that package finished with. Okay.